Weitzman. Uh, pulled behind and he's got in and this is the first time in the history of Bangladesh Test cricket that a bowler has taken. The break had a word with him. Words of wisdom. And it seemed to have worked. Did he get a touch to it? Yes, he has. That's the first strike. The dreaded finger goes up, appeal behind the wicket from Mushfiqur Rahim and Bangladesh make the bait to this morning. Beautiful piece of bowling and whoever's idea it was to open the bowling with Tajul Islam, take a bow because it's worked. That's an absolute beauty. Just wonderful hands from the skipper as well. He's just ridden the bounce, allowed the ball to come into him. Soft hands, Fusi Sabanda has gone for 14 the first breakthrough Zimbabwe leading by just five 19 for one over the top there he goes again three in a row this slice there might be a catch he's gone yes uh, he's uh, throwing caution to the wind Chucky Balasan just takes an easy catch but uh, that was rather silly I think you've got two sixes and then trying to go for another big one the ball was turning and not the wisest choice of shots Poor cricket by Raza. See, there's a man placed right down in the deep at uh, deep long off and uh, attempted a similar shot, trying to get greedy in terms of hitting sixes and um, he pays the price. And that is a big wicket because he was looking good. Sikandar Raza, he goes to 25. Zimbabwe loses uh, third wicket for 53. <laughs> And he's gone. He struck again. Shamshu Rahman in the slips taking the catch. He's turned that ball square. Drifting in, turning away. All he could do is have a little poke at it. And that was the end of it. Taiju certainly enjoying bowling on this track. Just look at the bounce and the turn. That really was um, a delivery which was a nasty one. Didn't give the batsman much chance at all. Chakabba goes for 10, Zimbabwe 58 for 4. And on straight, and he's gone. He strikes again. Goodness gracious, what a wonderful bowling performance here. This time it was Shoga the home who takes the catch, and Tajul strikes again. Neil Mantho. Wonderful bowling, absolutely magnificent bowling. Zimbabwe were always going to be up against it this morning, against uh, the spinners. But uh, I personally would have put Tajul third on the uh, danger list for Zimbabwe, behind Shakib and uh, I'm sure. But uh, my goodness, Elton Chigaburra goes for a second ball duck. Zimbabwe in a world of pain at 58 for five. Tajul to continue from the Bashanara cement end. And that's a very close. And he's given. That played back. It turned. Didn't bounce this time. And got caught right in front. And there's going to be a little bit of a review, I would think, because he may feel he, he either got an inside edge or he was missing the leg stump. But anyway, he's reviewed. Um, umpire Kumar Dharmasena has asked for assistance. And we're going to have a little look at the review on that particular delivery. Welcome Arthur Ali. Sorry mate. Well done. You come at the right time. You probably got yourself a wicket. Yeah, it took a little bit of time and then uh, eventually in the end he asked uh, for the review. Tajul Islam and the uh, closing fielder went in very, very quickly the moment it got trapped. Beg your pardon, Jubair Hussain. Nothing wrong. Uh, so... I thought it was uh, Taijul. It is Taijul. Ah, plum in front. I don't know because the, the bat was nowhere near the ball at all. That one turned and kept low and would have gone and hit uh, the stumps. Oh, big gap. You should probably be thinking maybe he did a little bit too much. Was it uh, missing the leg? I don't think so. Yeah, that seems to me what he 
obviously is hoping for that it just spun too much and missing just missing the leg stump but umpire's given it out so it just has to be touching the stumps to be upheld big appeal by the keeper he knew he was confident and we're going to have to have a look at Hawkeye and the projected pathway of the ball and no problem with the the no ball and both the spinners uh, do a bowler uh, inside the crease lovely delivery isn't it beautiful loop good turn sharp turn came back very quickly indeed and wraps him on the back foot deep in his crease as surely he's going to go and hit the stumps and let's see what the Hawkeye says Okay, let's see. This is the Hawkeye coming into play now. We have the mat. It's hitting the wickets. That's hitting in a big way too. So unfortunately for the Zimbabwe team, Irvine has to go. And that will be another wicket down. So that's his fifth wicket. And... Uh, He's done a wonderful job today. It's his maiden fifth wicket hole, I think. Uh, it's his second, so he's done very well today in helping his team. Put uh, comes with the right flight. Has got the edge of Panyanga's bat, and he's got to head back to the pavilion. The loop work, the spin work. It turned away, got the edge, and uh, no problems for Shamsi Rahman in the slips to get another catch a oh, brilliant delivery just look at the flight as if you were talking earlier on and uh, that contributed to the bounce just the top end of the bat or was it the glove but a simple catch he's been bowling absolutely brilliantly Panyangara goes without scoring on 0-4 for 8 Is he going to respond? Yes, he has. Come on. Dharmasena has uh, given uh, the signal and uh, is also indicated uh, for uh, a review for the third umpire. Yes, we saw Chatara going up for the review straight away. And um, so he probably thought that he didn't hit it at all. That's okay. Well, it seems to have missed the bat, a bit of uh, air, but uh, seems to be heading towards the leg stump. So, it's the leg before decision. Uh, but if it had hit the bat, he was caught in the slips. So there seems to be no way out. If uh, the umpire feels, the third umpire, that it touched the bat, it, he would have been caught. And if it's uh, leg before decision, there pondering that seems to be pretty much straight yes it's a double edge for uh, Chatara don't think he has a way out here so if it wasn't an edge um, he may be able LBW and um, if it had taken the edge then he was caught in the slip well I think uh, the writing is on the wall there for Chatara ensure that uh, a correct decision is taken there have a look from behind doesn't seem to have uh, got a touch just at uh, that point no I don't I think this bit of uh, air between uh, the bat and the ball and then you're thinking about now if that's uh, cleared then obviously you're now deciding whether the ball was going to go on and hit the wicket which seems pretty likely is Hawkeye for you. Original decision was out. Pitching in line, straighten up. 
impact in line and guess what right in the middle stump just in the middle stump so no problems there he is on his way back that should be confirmed and there we go another wicket down for Zimbabwe the Chatara has to go after a review and that's one Peel behind and he's got him and this is the first time in the history of Bangladesh Test cricket that a bowler has taken eight wickets in an innings and in only his uh, third test match Taijul is, has uh, really conquered for Bangladesh and uh, that is the way the last wicket fell. What a wonderful performance by uh, Taijul, 8 for 39 in 18.5 overs or 16.5 overs and this really is a record for Bangladesh cricket the lowest total by any side versus Bangladesh the previous lowest being 154 also by Zimbabwe at Chittagong and uh, Zimbabwe are all out with the captain Brendan Taylor stranded on 45 Well, this young man can take all the kudos. He's going to hang on to that ball. He's waving 